Beloved the seven never in his church. Beloved the seven never in his church. This is a very urgent, urgent message, a very urgent, urgent message called forgiveness of sin and repentance and forsaking sin. This is taken from Hebrews chapter 6 and verse, sorry, this is taken from Hosea chapter 6 and verse 1. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us. In the third day he will raise us up. And we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord is going forth, is appeared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter, and the former rain unto the earth. O Ephraim, what shall I do unto thee? O Judah, what shall I do unto thee? For your for your goodness is a morning cloud, and the only in the early dew it it goeth away. And do and goeth the way. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and my judgments are as a light that goeth forth. For I desire mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. But they, like men, have transgressed the covenant. Here that there had, there had they dealt treachery against me. Now, beloved, the Adventist church. This is talking about how we are hewed by the prophets, the Old and New Testament prophets and apostles. Those words hew us to make us of a holy, righteous life. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4.13. That's an apostle. A prophet is, um, states in Isaiah 55, it states, Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet and white as snow, the better Christian they shall be as well as Isaiah 118. It's a prophet, beloved, in the Adventist church. So these prophets and apostles heal us by those prophets so we can hear the word of God and be just like him. Come, return unto God, beloved, and he will revive you and give you the early and latter rain. What is early, early rain? The early rain is forgiveness of sin. The early rain is repentance so you can walk a holy, righteous life. What is the latter rain? The latter rain is victory over sin. Get into a point where you don't want to sin. Get into a point where you rather die than sin. That is the latter rain, beloved, in the Adventist church. Let us receive the latter rain so we can get ready for the loud cry. We want to give the loud cry in this ass days, beloved. Earth's fighting war and great controversy. We want to be able to give the straight testimonies of Laodicea and loud cry to the apostate Protestant world. We want to call people out of the apostate Protestant world, the union of church and state with the U.S. government, priestcraft, priest, priestcraft, with Pope craft, priest craft, with, with, with state craft, church craft, with, with, with state craft. The apostate Protestant will only leave with the state. That's the union of church and state. That's fornication. We want to call people out of the apostate system. We want, to, we want to expose wickedness of the man of sin. The Pope, Pope Francis, shall be destroyed by the brightness of God's coming. He is the Antichrist. He is a man of sin. He is the lawless one. He is the son of perdition. He is the one who, who he is the one who sinned. Who he is the one who um, he is the one who standeth as as if, as if he is God and claims to be God himself. Vicarious flea I dei six six six, six deputy of the Son of God. That's his name. The number of his name, beloved, the Antichrist. He's a Jesuit, beloved. He used to be the black pope over there in Rome. He the white pope was the regular pope. Now these men, while celibate. Claim to not mess with women, claim to not um, do certain things, not involve themselves in gluttony and the seven deadly sins. But these men are very wicked because they claim the prerogatives of God. They claim to be like God himself. They claim to sit in, in, in the seat of God. They claim to forgive sins. They claim papal infallibility. They claim infant baptism. They claim all these apostasies, beloved. Now it's time to separate ourselves from these apostate systems. Now is the time to give the loud cry and the straight testimony. Beloved in the Adventist church. Now is the time to separate ourselves from the apostate Protestant world and the papacy. Now is the time to give a straight testimony even among the seven Adventist church. And not be given to worldly lust, worldly dancing, worldly movies, worldly music. It might as dress, eating all kind of improper things. Now is the time to eat, have a plant-based diet and drink lots of water. 
Now is the time to get exercise and read the Bible and the spirit of prophecy and get into listening to sermons and overcoming sin. Now is that time, beloved. Now is the time to be ready for Jesus Christ to come because when he comes, every eye will see him. And if we're not ready for him, when he comes back, we're lost, beloved, the Adventist church. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 34, talk 34 35, talks about how his soul shall have no pleasure in him if you don't come and revive and are restored in the, in the salvation. Hebrews chapter 10. Let me go to right now. Hebrews chapter 10. That's in the New Testament. One of my favorite scriptures in the New Testament, beloved. It's right before Peter and James. Hebrews chapter 10 says, listen to this right quick. It says, cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back my soul, shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them that draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe in the saving of the soul. And what does Jude 24 say now unto him that is able to keep him falling and to present you faultless? So not only can Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, um, keep you from falling, but he can present you faultless. He can present you, present you without any sin upon your record, without any sin registered against your name. He wants us to get to a point we have no sin upon our records, which our armor is saving us, and we have no sin to call against us. Because in, in the book of Isaiah, Jeremiah talks about that there's no intercessor. There's coming a time we're not going to have an intercessor. Jesus Christ is not going to intercede for us. He's not going to plead for our names anymore. Because at that time, we're going to be without sin, without fault for God. Present a faultless and have victory over sin. Now is the time for that right now, beloved. <coughs> beloved, men in the church, stand, arise. If you see a modestly dressed woman, if you see a midnight woman, don't fall for her, beloved. Don't fall for the midnight woman that's still in the camp in his ass days through the office of Balaam the prophet. Balaam tried to get the people to go away a while by the teachings of Balaam. He tried to get them to have sex with the midnight woman women who worship the gods of 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 of, 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 of uh, Moabite, the Moabitist gods. Beloved the Adventist church, don't do it. Don't fall into these ass days into these midnight women, beloved. They may be beautiful. They may dress so sexy as the world calls them. But beloved in the Adventist church, they're into apostasy. They'll lead you astray. The Bible says, my son, give me thy heart, let thine eyes reserve my ways. For a strange woman is a deep ditch and a whore is a narrow pitch, pit, beloved, in the Adventist church. And she says, and she says, um, if she kisses you and says, I have peace offerings with me this day. Today have I paid my vows. Re reject her. Flee from her. Be like Joseph. Do not take her advances, beloved, in the Adventist church. Be a strong Joseph in his ass days. Bear enough for God bless.